Um, but uh, right now on the line with us is uh, Travis from Witch Grinder. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thanks for having me, guys. That's what. That's good to. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Um, Witch Grinder uh, uh, playing uh, Brutality uh, later on uh, this year in, at the start of August. Um, uh, Travis, are, are there any bands that you're playing with at Brutality that you're excited to see? Uh, there's, there's heaps actually. Like the list. Um, it's the list is kind of very similar to last year, but there's some bands that are on really early that um, I'm definitely getting down to see. There's Dire Blaze that are a new band. They've only had a few shows. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, Desecrator, Barbarian, Psychoptic. I the list goes on, so it's, it's pretty hard to really. Yeah. I don't really know what bands I'm going to see. I'm just going to kind of load in my stuff and, and, and run around to, to between the both venues as much as I can. So, as you mentioned, you played last year's festival as well. Um, how did you find it last time around? Yeah, last time was really good, except um, by memory, I broke a string. <laughs> it was a bit annoying. So I had to uh, grab one of my other guitars. But uh, this year I should have it all restrung and... Uh, we should be fine, but hopefully. Touch wood. So, at the moment, you guys are, are recording a live DVD as well. Um, how's that all going? And are the cameras going to be out at Brutality as well? Um, we're not. Sh- I, I'm not sure if anything's getting filmed at Brutality. But just um, yeah, last weekend we got a live show filmed at the Evelyn. Um, I think we're actually going to release a couple of songs from that anyway just like up on YouTube just so people can check it out um, just depending on what what's happening with that film crew but that's uh, all all this footage is going towards a DVD that we'll release at some stage next year because we've got a few tours coming up and some exciting stuff so we thought we might as well start um, just getting a bunch of footage together for that yeah yeah Speaking of the exciting stuff that's coming up, um, the, this brutality will probably be. Uh, I think it's is it the last show that you're going that you're playing before you you start recording the new album. Um, no, we're actually going on tour uh, to Japan before we come back to record the album. Oh, okay. So that'll be the last one. That'll be the last show in, the, in Australia before we head over uh, to the Japan tour come back and then we'll be straight into the studio recording yeah yeah yeah. are you going to be uh debuting any new music at the at brutality or at the the shows in uh, japan um we played one last weekend so if the guys are all keen i like i'm always keen to play new stuff Mm -hmm. but it's kind of up to them i don't think they like giving away too much stuff yeah but um yeah, I, I reckon we'll, we'll end up playing one. I don't think it'll be hard to talk them into it. <laughs> so, um, you've definitely had a big 12 months. What would you say is your definite highlight? Um, I don't know. Probably the Evelyn show. Probably the Wednesday 13 tour and the tour with Ghost was definitely the um, major highlights in the last 12 months that, that I've, I've felt. Just because they were, you know, just just fun tours, easy, easy, um, just really easy and simple. Like there was no stress there or anything. Did you get to I see? Mean, did you get to see under the cloak of of, of Ghost? What's that? Did you get to see under the under the hood under the we cloaks? We got to see it all. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes they're running around nude. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. We got, we got to meet all them. They were really nice guys. No, we uh, hung out. The, it was it was a lot different than what you what I was guessing they were going to look like uh, without hmm. their masks on. They're um, very kind of normal, just everyday kind of dudes. And you know, so we went, we only went and had got some food and stuff like that, and hung out with them and, and just chilled and talked music. So that that was really nice. That's cool. Okay. 
Awesome. Uh, I actually caught you guys on the Wednesday 13 tour, and um, I also caught you guys last month at your Beaconsfield All Ages show. Um, what I did notice was that you had pyros at like a small phaser gig, which I thought was really, really cool because I've never seen that before. Um, is it like really important to you guys for that, like, to have that, um, like, the best live experience that you can? Yeah, well, it's, it's like as much stuff as we can usually get into a show, we will get. Um, yeah, we think that's really, really important. Like, I mean, you know, our, our music, of course, comes first, but I think, you know, once we've kind of got that product um, and we've got the songs done and they've been recorded, you know, it's... Anyone can kind of, you know, you could just chuck on your, your CD or, you know, someone can just put on your CD at home or listen to it on their iPod and all that, so... Kind of, you know, if you want to come go and see the band live, you don't really want to see just a, a bunch of, you know, guys just standing there repeating what you what you've heard. I think um, the show, you know, the more lights, the stage effects, you know, the the pyro is definitely a big thing that we brought in, which we don't get to use obviously every show because you know it's just limited, you know, to, depending on the venues you know, where the fire exits and all that kind of stuff. Like, it, it took us a while to get our um, pyro licenses, all the courses and insurance that we had to go through to, to be able to do that. But, I mean, for some shows, it, re- it really is worth it. Like, it, you know, every everyone likes a little bit of fire. Yeah, yeah that would kick it up to the next level for sure. Um, speaking of, of taking things to the next level, if you could work with a, any producer or, or a, in any studio... Uh, who would it, who would the producer be, or where would you be recording? Like, who's at the top of your list? Uh, I've never really thought of this. I don't know that many <laughs> <laughs> that, do, that do my albums these days. Maybe old old Rich Wild. I think I think his name was. Yeah, oh, yeah. Old Rich Wild. Yeah, I think I'd probably like to work with him. That'd that'd be interesting. Like he's done a lot of older albums that I've really enjoyed, but um. Yeah, that's a tough one because I'd, 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 obviously, I'd start looking around, you know, and probably finding out a lot more about them before before I made that decision. Yeah, very true. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. Um, yeah, and a lot of different. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, you've mentioned that you're working on the follow-up to your 2013 debut, The Demon Calling. What can we expect from your new material? Um something way better <laughs> it's a uh, it's a it's a step up from what we've done it, it sounds like us like as soon as you put it on you go oh ooh, that's which kind of like, I don't know what it is about us but there's that there's that which kind of sound like we haven't lost any of those elements um, you know with samples and the guitar tone the guitar tone is actually a little bit, um, probably slightly heavier than what you'd hear on the on the album. Mm-hmm. When I say heavier, I just mean it's a, a lot more sharper. Like it um, doesn't feel as laid back. Where we could, we kind of pull pull back off the last on the last one just for um, radio and certain kind of things. But I think we've got an angrier tone this time. Uh, it sounds a lot more raw and a lot more like what we do live. Um, but yeah, as, a, as far as writing goes, you know, we've got a new drama this time. Um, the last album and the EP was written just by me. Mm-hmm. So, like, I mean, I, I, I like, oh, when I say just by me, you know, there's, <laughs> there's inputs by the others, but not not much. It was kind of, I just, I write at home, I bring it to practice, and we'd play and maybe they'd add little things over. But with this one, it's kind of just all over the place. It's like whatever what everyone comes up with, we like throw to the table and we try it out. Like, so we rehearse, um, try something new. Then the next night we all go around to the drummers and he actually sits up and programs the drums and then we sit there and record it. Then we drop box it to everyone and we go home, we listen to it for the week, see if we like it, and we get back into this uh, rehearsal, then we start playing it, you know, if everyone likes it, or if they didn't, we change it, then the next night we go back and 
to keep, just keep doing it that way. Which is, um, you know, it was really different. It was probably really, it was harder for me to, um, to accept that as, as a way of writing because I was so used to doing it by myself. Mm. But the way it's turning out is it's the, it's the best kind of decision we could ever do. Like, I mean, as soon as the guitarist writes a riff, it's like, bang, you know, we've, we've got a group, we've got a private group on um, Facebook where we, you know, that, like, an alarm just kind of goes off, so it's like, ding, if someone writes in it, check it, you know, usually it's the guitarist or someone saying, you know, I just, I just put a, another riff up, have a listen, see what you think, and, you know, if we like it, then he sends kind of tabs through, we just all learn it, or we'll learn it to practice, whatever, and with it so it's really cool it's it's definitely um a step up from everything else we've done cool 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 um and uh, i i can't wait to i hope we get to hear a couple of those new songs um at brutality on the, on the 2nd of august at the tote and the bendigo hotels um it's gonna be three stages of mu- music going on from 3 p.m so it's it's gonna be jam-packed and once again uh, thanks travis from witch grinder thanks so much for having a chat with us no worries. thank you very much for having us guys that's no problem we're going to go to a song by uh, by Frankenbock who are also playing the Brutality Festival with Witch Grinder uh, the song is Bottom Feeder and you're listening to The Mosh Pit on Sin <laughs> <laughs> 